When I was asked to speak at the Los Angeles Juvenile Correctional Center, uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure if I had the message that these young kids would need to hear. And uh, nevertheless, I took the opportunity to do this, and I've got to tell you, it was a life-changing opportunity. When I went into that room and I saw all of those young girls between the ages of 14 to 17, what I really saw was just slightly older versions of my little girl, Chloe. And maybe, maybe they didn't have the upbringing that my daughter had. Maybe they didn't have a fair shake at life. Maybe they made a bad choice in life that led them down this road. But it could have been a choice that, that I made as a kid that was bad. The only difference was that maybe I didn't get caught. I didn't have the best upbringing. But maybe I didn't get caught and they did. And now they were part of the system, going from foster home to foster home. And when a foster home didn't want them, they would end up in this Los Angeles Juvenile Detention Center. And so as I was in there, I realized something very quickly, that I'm really talking to people who are going to be in the workforce and have the opportunity to run businesses in the future. So what if I can actually influence them? What if I can leave a message with them that was so special that they would actually go and take action on? As I was talking and sharing my message with them, Amber, decided that she was going to challenge me. And I didn't know how to take this challenge at first, to be honest with you, because the three messages I left them was this. Lesson number one is you have to take personal responsibility for everything that happens in your life. Only then will you have full control of the outcome of your life. And the second lesson was that every morning when you wake up, you have one of two shirts that you can wear. The first shirt says, what can you do for me? And the second shirt says, how can I serve you? And I just told them that life will be better, you'll have more opportunities when you come to the world with a giving hand. And of course, the third and final lesson was that if you guys want something in life and you want to grow as a entrepreneur or a employee, or you want to become something that you're not right now, the fastest way to get there is to have a mentor and that they should find a mentor. Well, of course, as I said that, and I thought I was mentoring them, Amber decided to interrupt me and said, well, what if we want mentoring from you? How can we get mentoring from you when we get out of this jail? And so she kind of caught me off guard. And to be honest with you, I really didn't know what to say, but I just went with what was in my heart. And that was, well, if you want mentoring with me when you get out of here, contact us and I'll figure out a way to mentor you. And quite honestly, as much as I was hoping that she would contact me and that all the girls in there who, as they get out, they would contact me, I really wasn't sure if they were going to. Well, as it turns out, Amber did get out, and when she did, she reached out to us, and we brought her here into my mastermind, and now I've got this program for these kids who are at high risk and who are coming out of the juvenile detention centers, and they're now going to get mentored by many of my top coaching clients who are in my mastermind groups. And so just like my coaching clients who come to these mastermind groups, now these young kids will come to the mastermind groups. And as long as they have any kind of entrepreneurial desire, we'll mentor them, coach them, and help them find their way as entrepreneurs. My name is Amber Espinoza, and I'm from Los Angeles. I met Pedro's in Central Juvenile Detention Center. He came to speak to us one day and pretty much told us what he was about and I asked how can I get a mentor but yet how can I be mentored by you it just so happened he was like okay when you guys get released get in contact with us we will set up three days out of the year where we get to come to this mastermind event and be surrounded by great people I'm proud of myself like <laughs> I'm proud I went through with it I was like iffy I was nervous I was like what am I doing what am I getting myself into I don't even know how to speak properly I'm really glad I did this like this is good for me thank you bad girls for this opportunity for letting me come out to the mastermind event I hope that I influence other girls that I was in the facility with to want to come out and do this with me that'd be great for me it's been a really exciting thing and I can't wait to do more of this and as I, as I do it, I realize that we as entrepreneurs, as business people, as leaders, have the obligation to pay it forward and to mentor the youth. Whether it's just the youth at, at your kid's school or the youth at your community, or if it's kids who are, have had a bad shake in life and they're stuck in some local juvenile detention center. But either way, we have that obligation to mentor them.